Hi guys and welcome back to another Division 2 video. Just a quick update, maybe about half an hour ago, the Division went live on their Twitch channel and Hamish was asked about PvP and basically is it going to be addressed, is it going to be fixed? But Hamish did reply that although it's not been totally confirmed, they're just waiting on confirmation that Redstorm will be on this week's state of the game. So on Wednesday, they will be talking about PvP and hopefully of how they can address it, make it more interesting, because at the moment, as we know, is a bit of a shit show. And I'll be honest, it's through this week's video out of the window because, the, well, this week's video for me was going to be called PvP is dead, which it is. But I suppose I am kind of happy that I didn't want to bring such a negative video to the table, but in the same sense, it was kind of does need addressing so some of the things obviously that i was talking about within the pvp problems where obviously so the game's now tailored towards pve not many people are bothering with the dz because they just don't see the point of grinding and one of my main concerns was that the fact there is three dark zones it meant if you wanted a bit of pvp action and you killed somebody a few times they'd simply just leave and go to another dark zone and to me that was pointless and it kind of took away the aspect of the dark zone altogether Grinding for gears is pointless because 90% of the builds can be gathered from just 6 random gears. The actual gear sets themselves are very lacklustre. And even the brand set bonuses, they just don't seem to be worth running 3 pieces for. So overall, because of that, people just were not interested in running the dark zone as there wasn't much gears you couldn't get from playing PvE. So because of the pointless gears, it meant it was pointless extracting, there was no tension when you were calling in a helicopter or... Well, let's face it, there was just no high risk, high reward aspect of the game that had gone. So hopefully now with the announcement, Terry Spear and the guys over at Redstorm will come and address it. What they will talk about, we don't know, but the fact that they are going to be on State of the Game on Wednesday suggests they are going to be looking at it more from a community point of view. So with that being said, maybe let's look at some of the things that we'd like to see change within PvP. Me personally, I know it's a, the biggest ask and I probably, well, it won't happen because it means changing the structure of the game completely. I think they should just do away with three dark zones. And if it makes it easier, make the three dark zones that are there now a light zone, so PvE, and make one big massive dark zone either north of the White House or on the east side of the map. It's not going to happen, I know. Don't start commenting down below saying, oh, that's unrealistic, I get that, but three dark zones just doesn't work with me. Another thing I think you should look at is the gear sets themselves and the brand sets. The brand set bonuses could be reworked a little bit better, which would then give people an incentive to run three-piece. So, for instance, if you look at the Sokolov of Concern, the way that the third set bonus is Seeker Damage, that's a perfect gear for me. I think the third piece of any given brand set should be a really important part of the build. Even if it means maybe upping the percentage of the damage to say like 30 or 40% seeker damage. That could also help with the skill power and making actual skills important. I just think the values overall on brand sets should be a lot more lucrative to make people run them. Instead of just running random 6 gears. That way people will stop getting the exact same build as you from 6 random gears they've picked up from named bosses or 1 or 2 missions. And it'll make people grind in the dark zone for those special gears. And the same with the gear sets themselves. They're very lacklustre. You lose more with the talents and there's nothing that the gear sets themselves bring to the table and let's face it the actual three gear sets to me are more pve based and i don't know if they're just trying to keep us off pvp because they know it's such a flawed project at the moment but watch this space i suppose fingers crossed the fact that they are addressing it this week they know the community has a little bit of a problem with pvp well when i say little i mean a massive problem so yeah it's great to see that the devs and redstorm are working hard to bring us some positive news well that's it for today guys, if you did enjoy today's Division 2 video don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you're enjoying the Division 2 series. Subscribe for more Division 2 content. I will be bringing out a video on Wednesday regarding the state of the game and what Red Storm talk about, look out for that. And until next time, Agents out.